Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty. I was going to sleep, but I could not you know, I mean, resist the temptation of Abdul. Abdul, my favorite. How I can go to sleep and there is Abdul asking me a question. It's a serious question. And you Christians, you have no answer for it. So let me show you the, the question, which the Abdul, I think he was... Uh, this, this Abdul is a thinker. He is. Look, he says, CP, Holy Spirit plus the Father plus Jesus equal to one. Who was crucified? <laughs> uh, the answer, Jesus, my friend. Okay. Uh, Jesus, who is Jesus? <laughs> I mean... You must be the, the, the best of your school, my friend. So who was a crucified Jesus? Okay, who is Jesus? Well, this is a good question. Ask your God who don't even can We can't even find his name in your Quran. Your silly God, he never recognized. He cannot even pronounce the name of Jesus correctly. What Jesus? Where is Jesus in the Quran? There is Isa. Who is Isa? And let me ask you, who is Jesus uh, in the Quran? Who is Isa? Isa, son of Maryam. Have you ever heard of, of a guy? He's a son of a woman. I mean, what is who, who is his father? I mean, why you Muslims are so silly? You cannot tell us who is the father of Jesus. How, uh, how Jesus have no father. Why? From all mankind, there is only one person who is born of a woman, yet he have no father. <laughs> why? I will tell you why. Because the city of prophet... Uh, Allah Muhammad he copied from a Christianity that Jesus is born of a virgin but he can explain to us why I mean why so what the point of this I mean, my mother she can claim to be a virgin hmm? yeah any woman she can claim to be a virgin when she gave birth what is the point of this miracle why Jesus should not have a father ah, I will tell you why because your prophet said, every son of an Adam is a sinner. Look at this. And Jesus is not the son of Adam. Who is his father? To make it simple for you, Siri Abdul, the one who made my mother have me is my father. Okay. Who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? You see, I'm going with your age. I'm, I think maybe you are in your 60, which means you're still young. Who is the father of Jesus? The one who made the women deliver the child is the one should be called the father. So in case of Mary, you Muslims, can you tell us who is the one who made Mary carry a child? Let us see how many of you from the cute Abdul, who want to say the question and answer the question, you will say to us, God. Okay, so Jesus is the son of God. Do you see how silly you are? Secondly, you said when Jesus, he was in the cross, he prayed, hey, Abdul, first of all, this is Jesus quoting from the book of Psalm. It's a prophecy about him. But for an idiot like you, you do not know what he's talking about. Jesus is quoting what the book of Psalms saying that this is a prophecy about Jesus that when the, when the Messiah he will come he will be in the cross they will be mocking him he will be saying Eli, Eli, lama shabaktani. and then he says you will see the rest even prophesying about how they will kill him and how they will mock him all right so because you are a silly person you do not know what Jesus is talking about so you think, okay, well, Jesus is a praying, he praying to who? However, let us go for the sake of argument. Jesus pray. Actually, Jesus prayed to the Father. What's the problem with this? We believe in the Trinity. But because you are a city, you do not know what Trinity. Trinity is a three person. When we say one God, we don't mean one person. So because you are silly, you think, Okay, Jesus is praying to the Father. He's praying to who? To the Father, you idiot. The Father is different person. <laughs> <laughs> 
and as long as you are asking such a question, okay, Jesus in Christianity, he is praying to the Father. And the word to pray, by the way, means communicate, not necessarily worship. However, your God, when he prayed, he prayed to who? If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Chapter 33, verse number 43. And the Muslim, they fabricate the translation. Uh, but look at this. They put between the bracket blessing, but it says Salat. It is he who sends Salat. By the way, he don't send Salat. It says Yusalli. Stupid liar translator. So your God doing Salat. Doing Salat to who? To the Father or to the Son? In the case of Jesus, Jesus is speaking to the Father. In the case of Islam, Allah praying to who? Forget about this verse. This verse is silly anyway. This, I mean, it is he who look at this I mean this is shirk Islam is a shirk religion it's not it's not about they don't believe in one God we are the one who believe in one God and the proof in front of you look at the translation this is their translation not mine it is he who sent Salat between two bracket a blessing but all of us we knew anyone who speak Arabic knows that the word Salah mean a prayer on you and his angels to who the angels they can do the same as Allah well, if the angels can do the same as Allah, that means the angels are God too. Because if we go with the first translation and we say that angels and Allah, they send a blessing. That means angels and Allah, they have the same ability. They can forgive sin. You know, when somebody bless somebody, or when I say bless you, the fact I'm not the one who's blessing you, I'm just cutting it short saying, may God bless you, because it's not me who bless you. When your mother she pray she she say may uh, 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 bless your son she is not really blessing you she is asking God to bless you the blessing only come from God and even angels they cannot give a blessing to anyone because they are not in charge blessing like okay when God he plus a bless a man that's mean he is he like what he is doing and he decide to reward him which means that including that he forgive his sin otherwise I don't forgive your sin but I'm going to reward you. So in order to bless somebody, you have to forgive the sin. So how Allah and the angels, they can do the same. That is called shirk in Arabic, which means Islam is not a monotheism cult. It is multi-God. And actually, this repeated many times in the Quran. If we go to different verse, we will find this. إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي يَا أَيَّهَا الَّذِينَ صَلُّوا سَلِّمُوا عَلَيْهِ a brother David Wood, he was debating with the with Mimi Hijab. He asked him the same question. Mimi Hijab, he says, This is why it says pray for, not pray to. I mean, who cares if it's pray for or pray to, you idiot? Allah, he pray for or two, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> because if I pray for you, that's mean I'm praying for somebody else. So Allah pray for who? Allah, he, again, the that here, he says, since Allah don't send Salat, it says, Allahu wa malaikatahu, and look at the first translation. It doesn't say Allah, it says Allah and the angels. In the translation, they fabricate and they separate between them and also his angels. It doesn't say that. The verse in the front of us in Arabic. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, ya ayyuhal ladina amanu sallu alihi wa sallimu taslima. Allah and his angels praying on the Prophet oh who you believe pray on him and salute him and praise him and by the way Muslims you are a mushrik all the way to the bones even the name of your Prophet is about shirk his name is the praised one if Muhammad his name is the praised one so what is the name of God isn't it God the praised one so here you will see how the Muslim they fa fabricate translation. But even if we go in the with the first translation here, they admit that Allah He do salat and the angels also do salat. And the believers also do salat. Do you see? All they do salat. So how salat is translated here is a blessing, you idiot. Mr. Bean. You see, you see the hypocrisy. Look at this. Allah He do salat. Angels do salat, and believers do salat. So how salat here? 
became ask Allah to bless Muhammad look at this first translation Salat here mean ask Allah to pray to to bless Muhammad. Okay, wonderful. That's mean a prayer So the word Salat mean prayer they admit it <laughs> Because you are asking Allah to 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 bless Muhammad according to the translation That's mean the word Salat mean pray That's mean Allah here. He did the pray pray to who? Secondly, I mean how silly and how stupid this verse is if Allah already he did bless Muhammad as the top it says according to your false translation who why you are asking people to ask Allah for you did already bless him you idiot I mean, but Muhammad because he want people to worship him He became the center of the universe Allah angels all the Muslims and he is in the middle and everybody Praising Muhammad and praying on Muhammad The devil so when you ask your question about Salah, how Jesus he prayed to the Father, well ask yourself how Allah he prayed to who and what kind of Allah and the angels they pray to Muhammad. And why the angels they are praying on Muhammad too? Is Allah or Allah already he pray on him? <laughs> if there is a need of a prayer after the prayer of Allah, this is the most silly, stupid cult. Who need the prayer of Zakir Naik on Muhammad if Allah already pray on Muhammad? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> now we continue. You see, you are the one who opened the door. I was going to sleep, my friend, honestly. It's already 3.35 in the morning here. Now we continue here. Look, brother, a brother. Your prophet, he claimed to be God who is alive even in the grave. You are saying to me, who was the one crucified? Well, Jesus, you see, the existence of Jesus have nothing to do with the existence of his physical body as birth from Mary, because Jesus said before, Abraham, I am. So the Bible confirmed, and this is what the Muslim they say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God. Well, he said to us, clearly, I am exist before anyone else. Before Abraham, I am. The grandfather of the Jews, he said to the Jews, before your grandfather is exist, I am exist. And you say to us, where is Jesus? I am God. So the physical flesh of Jesus, the one he's born with, that's not the point of existence of Jesus. This is why it says he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Everything was created by him and for him. But because you are silly and you don't understand but in the same time look the Christian they worship Jesus as God and Jesus says many times that he is exist before his birth so when the Jews they killed Jesus they killed the flesh of Jesus Jesus the God always exist you kill you kill just the flesh this is why it's called resurrection even we as a human when we die we will be resurrected what does that mean which means you are you are two things spirit and flesh the flesh is nothing it's just a dust it's not it's nothing except in the case of Jesus because Jesus is from the heaven he go back to the heaven for us dust dust, dust to dust sand to sand ash to ash in the case of Jesus, if we ask you now, where is Jesus? You say to us, he is Jesus in heaven now. Why? So Jesus now sitting in the heaven in the balcony laughing at you and Muhammad now in the grave. And look what Muhammad in the grave is doing right now. According to Muhammad and his lies and his fabrication. He said that when you every Friday submit the prayer to me, salat, not, uh, you know, submit, not blessing. You see the word salat again, fast translation. Your prayer is going to be displayed in front of me. Like, what the heck? Is going to submit to Muhammad? The Muslim prayer doesn't go to Allah. It goes to Muhammad. And the Muslim, they were confused. They says, what? But how, how we... How our blessing, our prayer story, not blessing, is going to go. And by the way, the Muslim can blessing bless you. No, they will ask Allah to bless you. That's so it's prayer. Stop lying. It's not a blessing. Asking Allah to forgive Muhammad. So, how how our prayer will be submitted to you when your body will be decayed? Muhammad will be dead. He said, 
Allah forbidded the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet so look what the what the, what, the, what we are prophet claiming you he's claiming that he is alive and not only he is alive he is God and let, let me explain to you if every Friday you Muslims you pray on Muhammad and you Muslim you claim you are 1.44 1.2 1.4 that's that's two weeks ago by now they are four billion so how a prophet of God a man he can review the prayer of all the Muslims unless either he is a liar or it's true if it's true that's mean he's God imagine you open your email and you find 1.4 billion email every Friday and you are going to read them all brother hmm How stupid that is and guess what happened when Muhammad he died they did not bury him for three days because they believe in his lies he said to them oh, the, Allah he forbid the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet so for three days three night they did not bury Muhammad and then Muhammad he stink to the point Ibn Abbas he said bury your friend he is he stink as all human they stink hmm? no, no. and by the way this is sahih uh, this is sahih so don't tell me this is weak <laughs> you know the weak uh, islam is weak everything is islam in weak and then we continue we're not done are we done no i was going to sleep as long as you are talking about god talking to god Okay, I want to ask you a question, very simple one. I'm sure you're smart, you know, you can answer those things. I mean, for you, it's like just it's like a cigarette. <laughs> you know, George Bernard Shaw, he says, the prophet, if he was exist, he can solve all the problems while he's drinking his coffee in the morning. But we could not find the book of George Bernard Shaw saying that. <laughs> it must be a secret book. Okay, Allah says, and we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. Question, Abdul, Allah ransoming uh, to who? Allah paid ransom to who? Hello? Hello? Put the cream with the ghetto. Don't forget the sugar, oh you. Allah ransom to who? Allah ransom into Allah? Okay, you don't want the guy to be killed. Okay, but what do you mean you we ransom him from who to who? If Allah is the one who asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, then why Allah need to pay a ransom to who? He can't he just say to Abraham, okay, don't do it, that's it, we are done. No, he ransom him. So you must then believe a ransom, and the ransom is a blood, and this ransom coming from heaven. Why Allah did not ask Abraham to bring a sheep from the backyard and slaughter it? So Allah is the one who paid a ransom in Islam. And the ransom is great, as the Quran says. You see, it doesn't say just a ransom. It's a mighty ransom. And that ransom is a sacrifice. Allah is sacrificing Allah himself is sacrificing okay Allah sacrificing to who to Allah so you Muslim you love at the Christian says her so Jesus he came and he sacrificed himself and this is the plan of the father so God he sacrificed his son to himself hello this is what you say to us I'm using your logic Allah he sacrificed to who and by the way, Allah have ram in heaven. Hmm. Yeah, your prophet is copying a story from the Bible, but he, you know, he don't know what is coming out. He don't because he can't explain what he's. He's just a thief. So you notice here that you speak about God speaking to God when all the Quran. By the way, uh, Allah speak to Allah. How many times the Quran says, "It is He." Who created the heaven and the earth? He who? 
forget about this one let it as they say in Brazil then here you will see your question showing that Muslim will never learn what the Trinity is I don't blame you my friend you are just Abdul like your God your God is Abdul too so when you say Holy Spirit plus the Father plus Jesus equal to one okay now you just admitted that the Christian they don't believe in three they believe in one they believe in three person but one God thank you very much but look what happened now why you cannot explain to your silly God and your prophet Muhammad who do not know what the Trinity is look what your prophet in the Quran said the Quran think that the Christian believe that the father and the son is one because let us replace the word here first of all we don't believe in Allah if you go and see uh, in the Quran it says here chapter 5 let us take the first verse chapter 5 verse number 17 surely disbelieve are they who say Allah is the Messiah okay hold on hold on first of all we Christian don't believe in Allah secondly no Christian believe that the Messiah is the same person as the father so where Muhammad got this so if we if we say that Muhammad trying to say trying to replace the father with Allah where is the where is the Christian who believe that the Messiah is the same person no we don't believe in that we believe in three person so your God do not know what the Christian believe and you know better than Allah brother I think you just earn your degree to be a prophet in Islam because you know better than Muhammad about the Christianity unbelievable hmm no you got Allah he think the Christian believe that the Messiah is the same person as the father this is not what Christianity teach hello and then your God Allah he cannot stop doing poopoo -poo, my friend I mean it's um, embarrassing hmm. <sighs> look what the Quran says Uh, a Muslim paper, you know, this is silly of you because we don't believe in three parts. It's you who believe in three parts. Isn't it you Muslim believe that the black stone is the right hand of Allah? Isn't you Muslim believe uh, that Allah have many shape? Uh, like we have the Dr. Rohi, we called me just a few days ago, and we asked him about Allah coming in different shapes. So which, which shape is him? So you are the one who have many shape of Allah, which means Allah is a <laughs> many physical being. But look at this, as long as you are talking about this, uh, Abdul. Your God, not only he is silly to understand what Christians believe, he confirmed that he is one of the creators. And the Muslim, they say, oh, uh, you know, don't you create bicycle? That's not a creation. The Quran divide the, 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 the you know decide what creation is about giving life. This is why Allah and the judgment is supposedly if, if you draw a picture, Allah He will bring you in the front of the picture, He says, Do this, so you can bring life, bring it to life. This is what is creation is. Look at this. The Quran in chapter 23, verse number 14, confirmed that Islam believe that Allah is the best of the creators. So if we accept that there is a creator, that means we accept that there is many gods beside Allah. Because who is the God? The creator. Right? This is your Quran. In the Bible, there is only one creator. There is no two, there is no three, there is no four, there is no five. The Quran confirmed that Allah is the best of the creators. If you want to say that Allah here is just saying he is the best and there's no creators, that's mean Allah is a liar. Because how you say, imagine I say I am the best student, but there's no other students. 
Imagine I say I'm the best in my village, but I'm the only one living in this village. That's stupid. And that's embarrassing. So it is you, Muslims, who is confused and your God, Allah, he claimed that he is a creator as one of many, but he is the best. And look, in different verse, Allah, he compared himself to Baal. You know who's Baal? And what he say about Baal? He claimed that Baal is a creator too. Read carefully. Will you call upon Baal as well as, you know, the known idol? Uh, this is a fast translation between two brackets. Just forget about it. And forsake the best of the creators. But by doing that, you just admitted that Baal is a creator too, but you are better than him. <laughs> You know, when I say, are you going to worship uh, uh, a Trump when I am the best of the creators? That's mean I just admit that Trump is a creator, but I'm better than him. What is the comparison, comparison between Allah and Baal now? Guys, what this verse is saying to us? Saying that Allah is better, better what? Better creator. And there's many creators. And he mentioned one of them. He just mentioned Baal. So the God of Islam, he just admitted that he believed in Baal. This is why Muhammad is the black stone. The black stone is a, the vagina, which is the fertility uh, 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 window of Baal, the God of fertility. This is why women, they used to place their, their hands full of blood in the, inside the black stone, as the Islamic book says. And now we are not done yet. If we go to chapter 21 verse number 17 Allah he says that he is if he want to like, like to take a partner he will take it from ourself have you ever heard of a God he is one of his kind yet he want to take partner from ourself no you see look look guys look what uh, look what Abdul he said uh, 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 Abdul Abbas he said something. Let me show you. Where is Abdul Abbas? Just to show you the intelligence, the IQ of, of the Abdul. Uh, hello. Creator is not equal to God because it is Allah who has given us creative ability. No, Allah did not give you creative ability and he himself, he cannot create. And what is the creative? The Quran says, let me let me get you busted. The Quran says that creative is to create a life, not anything else. So Allah is saying you can worship a god if he create a fly. Fly. That is a creative. In Islam or creation in Islam it's not creating a bicycle stop lying we're talking about religion now there's only one creator so if you are saying to me that Allah is the best of the creators comparing himself to the one who make a car that's mean Allah comparing himself to human and that's mean Allah is comparing himself to man and that's mean that you Muslims are a bunch of idiots when you say nothing like Allah so how he is nothing like Allah and then he compare himself to the one who is not like Allah do you compare an elephant to a, to, to, to a rat in order to compare between two, you have to be from the same kind. Otherwise, you must be a donkey to compare between them. Do you compare between an apple and a cat? No, we don't compare between an apple and a cat because the cat is a cat and the apple is an apple. So in order to compare, we have to compare between two from the same kind. Correct? So it's a very silly argument. And look what the Quran here, the Quran is spanking you, saying, Oh mankind, make like this. Listen carefully. Huh? Who you call beside Allah <laughs> cannot create even a fly. And here you will see that Muhammad is being silly. He just said, Anyone he can create a fly, he can worship him. Because this is the proof of his, his 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 being God or not. But isn't it the Quran says that Jesus created from the mother bird? That 
Well, and now we go to what Abbas he said that Allah he gave us the ability to create. Your God Allah cannot create anything, and the proof is very simple. Have you ever heard of a God? He think that the baby is created from a sperm, and that sperm became dead blood. Obviously, your God he know nothing about biology, and your God is an idiot. Have you ever heard of a, a God? He think that women have a sperm and coming from their chest, and man have a sperm is coming from the backbone. Look like your God Allah he think that uh, testicles are for decoration. I was wondering why they are there. I was thinking like why they are there. I mean, if if the I mean if the sperm is coming from the backbone, okay, what is the purpose of testicles? And Christian prince get dizzy with this. Like why they are there? Why I was thinking to take them off, by the way. I mean, why we want it to carry them? Maybe we can leave them home. Wherever you go, you take them with you. They are useless, according to Allah. Huh? So how Allah can be the one who gave us ability to create if He do not even know some some silly stuff in biology? Hmm? This is God. Your God is uh, hello, hello. Issuing from between the lion of the man and the bone, the breast bones of the man. You know, guys, I really don't want to get married, but I'm afraid. I mean, you take your wife to the bedroom, she take off her clothes, and instead of saying two breasts, you find two testicles. Boing, boing, boing. This is your God who gave us ability to create. Hello? Hello. What happened to Abbas? He's uh, not alive anymore. What happened? I think he's driving now. This is what happened to Abbas when he started driving. <laughs> he dumped it from the window. <laughs> so, uh, where we where, where we been? Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go back. Forget about this. Here you will see Allah claiming that if you like to have a child or a partner from a woman or a child from a woman, he is going to have partner from ourself. Okay. How Allah is one and he call women ourself. Those women have to be from his kind. That's mean Allah is not one of his kind. And how Allah is God, yet he will be able to have a partner which is a female. So he can have a baby. And here Allah is confirming what he said a different verse that how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend So Allah confirmed that he is not Almighty the God of Mary He can make Mary have a son, but yet she don't have a boyfriend but Allah the Not the Almighty the false mighty He said in the Quran how he can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend like hello Huh? You don't have a girlfriend. He's trying to get one. He signed in a dating website. He is the originator in the heaven and the earth. How can he have a children when he have no girlfriend? That's why this is false translation. In Arabic, it says sahiba. In here, in the chapter 17, cha chapter uh, 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 21, it says that if Allah think about taking girlfriend so he can have sex with her he will take them from ourself and ourself is a beautiful eyed woman Allah will sleep with ourself so now here either you say Allah will have sex with himself or you accept that this is true that Allah will have sex with the beautiful eyed women either way it's a problem because Allah he says if you want to take a partner partner let me uh, let, let me highlight for the Muslims because they have a bad vision they don't know how to read and write any ustaz from Indonesia somebody asking any ustaz from Indonesia no ustaz all of them they lost their battery the connection the internet of the neighbor is not working okay here you see brother it says if Allah he want to take a partner 
Do you see the word partner? This is your translation. This is your website. I have nothing to do with it. Hmm? We would found it, it who? The partner with our self. So the partner is our self. That means Allah is not one. There's many Allah. Our self, our kind. And actually, here the word translation is not good because it doesn't say only ourself. It says, min ladunna, from our kind, from our bloodline. From among the beautiful eyed, <coughs> excuse me, Huris. I thought those are version look like Allah playing with them already. <laughs> <laughs> so how you say to us okay Jesus is a praying to who okay we say to the father who is Jesus he's son of God why is son of God because simply Christianity believe in the Trinity the father the son the Holy Spirit okay Jesus is a crucified okay so Jesus was not exist before no he was exist because Jesus said and even his during his death is still exist uh, Jesus, he said, before Abraham I am, which means they just killed the flesh. God always is a living God. The dead is the flesh. The resurrection is for the flesh. Very simple. And even the Quran says that Jesus can raise people from death. And he can create from a mother bird. And he can heal the leper. And he can heal the blind. And not only that, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Which means he know the unseen, which means no one knows the unseen save God. That means Jesus must be God. If you say to me all those things, Allah, He gave it to him, that means Allah is a stupid. Because if Allah gave those things to Jesus to make him be a prophet, so we Christians should believe in him as a prophet, obviously it worked in the wrong way. Because now we believe in Jesus as God because of his amazing ability. Not because only he said, because I can say now, I can create, but nobody will believe me. If Jesus don't have ability to back up what he claim none of the Christians will follow him so if you claim you Muslims that Allah gave Jesus the ability that means Allah is the one who created Christianity and Allah is the reason for us to believe Jesus is God that's mean Allah is a fool correct secondly how Allah can give Jesus any ability if he have no ability? And the proof in the front of you, look at this stupid. Your God, Allah, cannot even make, he cannot even report history correct. He thinks that Jesus is the son of Mary and her father, his name is Umran. And Musa, his name is Umran, his father is Umran. And Aaron is the brother of Mary. When Muhammad got busted, the Jews, they said to him, but Mary, she is not the, she is not the sister of Aaron. He said, um, at that time, they used to call them by the great ancestor, but, but Aaron is not from their ancestor. Aaron is from different tribe. Moses and Mary, they are not from the same tribe. So this, is answer, this answer is stupid too. And what about the question? What about the mistake about calling the mother, the, the father of Mary, Umran? Oh, show me where is Umran? Who is this Umran? And not only that, your stupid God cannot even pronounce the name of the father of Moses correctly, but we, because his name is not Umran, Umram. So here we notice that we have an idiot God. And we have a follower of a, such an idiot God who their prophet told them, if you touch and kiss a stone, that stone will erase your sin. That is paganism. And yet they claim that they are worshipping oneness of God. Where is your oneness? Black stone kisser. Stones forgive sin. Going around the cube will forgive our sin. If this is not paganism, what is paganism then? Hmm? brother look at this brother Abu Abdul Rahman said I said to Abdul Rahman oh Abdul Rahman why do I only see you touching the those two corner he said I heard the messenger of Allah touching them brother and he said 
تاتش ان ذيم ريس سم هاو ايزي ام جوين تو جو تو ذا كابا After all what I did to Muhammad, I will go around the Kaaba, touch the stone, and hello, Muhammad, everything is gone. What you can do about it? All my sin is gone. If this is sin, supposedly. Touching a stone, what a pagan cult. Anyway, guys, don't forget to download the video and share it. We will not keep it here for long. It is here already 4 a.m. in the morning. And tomorrow I have a long day, long day to go. Uh, by the way, if you want to follow my news, you can subscribe to the other channel. Let me grab it for you. <clears throat> uh, uh, from there, I'm going to pause videos uh, during my. I'm I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow uh, during my trip, so this channel will go for a sleep for just short time. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. So it's not going to be like it's just uh, you know a uh, few weeks two or three weeks something like that so let us give you the link for the other channel where you can see the update our about our videos uh, all right let us here we go here <coughs> all right if we let us post this uh, one here uh, I will post videos about my trip and I'm not going to do any edit, you know, editing for them. I will just use my phone. I mean, just uh, as it is, you know. So if you like to follow with my news during during the time I am away, this is the link. Subscribe. And remember that website there is not about Islam, so don't post about Islam. That that uh, page there, that uh, channel, we want to keep it clean, no dirt, no Islam, something clean. So we will talk about good stuff. Which is helping people in many ways and you will see i have already some videos there you can watch them all right so this channel here will stay to be about islam and that channel will be about anything else which is clean no politics no religion for sure we always can speak about uh, uh answer and base or, or answer actually like here this topic here we spoke about all our answer is based based on our understanding as a christians so whatever we talk Still, we are going to be talking about us being Christians. And everybody is welcome, even if you are not a Christian, to be with us in this channel. All right? So don't forget to subscribe. And can we talk? Talk about what? I'm not sure. And I lost my voice. You think I can still talk after all of this? No, I cannot talk, no. Uh, anyway, if you have a question for me, you can post it in uh, Patreon. You can text me there, and you are more than welcome. Uh, any other question? How many of you, how many of you did subscribe to the other channel already? Anyone? Mary, the sister of Aaron, yeah. <laughs> and Allah, the one who created the backbone to create babies. <laughs> and the sperm of the man lived for 50 days. <laughs> and the sperm transformed into, into dead blood for, for 40 nights. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And here, Abbas, don't forget, the brother, to subscribe. You know, may Allah, did, did you did you do anything in the Hajj Abbas? Did you slaughter any sheep or something trying to copy the Jews? What a fake religion. What do you have to do with Abraham? And by the way, I don't know even why you do that. Because Abraham, he did not slaughter anything. It was Allah who sent a sacrifice. So you Muslims should not slaughter anything. Should wait for Allah to send a sacrifice. <laughs> Unbelievable, very beautiful it is, and I love it. All right. Uh, yeah, everything is wrong in this in this uh, in this uh, uh, religion. Everything is everything is wrong. Not a single thing is correct. Crazy, stupid, you name it. I mean, but uh, by the way, I learned a lot of things from the prophet. To be honest with you, 
like you know I, I will give you uh, something I learned from the Prophet peace upon him peace upon him it doesn't say that in Arabic it says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah pray on him and salute him imagine God salute him and salute, salute the man and pray on the man or right, hold on look what I learned from the Prophet so now you know that one of the reasons I did not really get married because I'm afraid that my son would look like me to be honest with you and that's really disgusting I mean this is the most horrible thing you don't want that your kids I'm serious so but now by the help of the Prophet I found a solution for this problem look what the Prophet of Allah with his great wisdom which he learned from Allah is saying the messenger of Allah said the man water is thick and white and the water the women water is thin and yellow expert is expert in water Muhammad you have a PhD in water which means sperm the water here means sperm and yellow whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the father or the mother Whoa! I just learned how I can save my marriage and my wife she will not kill me if my son looked like me so all what I need to do I will make her have orgasm first brother <laughs> and then the child will look like his mother beautiful me and the poor me I was like no way I'm not going to get married and then uh, my son look like me no way you go in the airport they, they want to arrest you you go in the street people they look at you I mean you go, I, I go in the elevator every get everyone get out especially if there's mirrors because you will see four of me unbelievable and now by the help of a prophet of Allah are you there uh, Abbas Abbas are you there I mean your your prophet obviously he's not he's not a liar you're out your prophet is telling the truth brother absolutely the truth I mean this is proven scientifically brother this is the proven scientifically. There is a scientist, his name Yama Idulima Yama from Japan, and he proved that. It's proven scientifically in the laboratory. <laughs> what a funny, stupid God. And he's a prophet who speak nothing except from God. You see, this is the, this is a knowledge he learned from God. This is not his like his own. No, no, no. This is God, my friend. God taught him. Jibril, Jibril. Yeah, Jibreel. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, if I can do a broadcast tomorrow, I will do. However, tomorrow I have my flight and I will update you uh, in the other channel. Remember to subscribe there again if you like to follow me in my new channel where I'm going to post videos recorded by my phone, which is created by Allah in china thank you very much christ is lord and allah is made in china nothing is authentic see ya